today I'm going to give a simple roadmap like a checklist that you can follow even if you are just a beginner or completely new to AI. We'll keep it very practical. Okay, let's get started. First step is understand what is generative AI. Before you jump into tools, first learn what is generative AI actually does. In simple words, generative AI is a software that can create things when you give it certain instructions. Okay, that is called prompts. It can write text or code, even the test cases, emails, even generate the data and spend some time reading about it. So you can use ChatGPT or Google Gemini or Copilot tools or like Cursor AI or Windsurf just to know what they can do. So this is the very first step that you have to follow. The second step is prompt engineering basic. Prompt engineering is simply means that writing good instruction for AI. For example, so suppose say there is a bad prompt like just write a test. It doesn't get to know how to prepare a good prompt then. So write something like this. Write a Selenium test script in Java to check if the login page displays an error when the password is blank. Okay. So this is how you can make the prompt better. So first thing is keep in mind, be clear about what you want. Okay. So then mention the tool or the language. Okay. And what you want and give examples if you need, like this is how you want. Okay. So that is how you can construct a good prompt. Okay. So for example, create a test case or generate a test data, explain this error message. So you can provide whatever you want. So you can ask either free tools like ChatGPT or Gemini, anything like DeepSeek. Okay. And the third step is start writing the test case for your reference. So it is the easiest way that you can start with using the, uh, uh, you know, AI tools. So generate manual test cases. For example, here is how you can do open chat GPT or any other AI chatbot. Okay. And then ask it to generate five test cases for sign up form with positive and the negative scenarios. Okay. And then review the output and adjust whatever the prompt that you need, like better, if you need better result, then give little more refined prompt. So that is how you can uh, refine and then provide prompt and then make sure that whatever your expectation is, it is meeting or not. Okay. So that is how you will build the confidence with AI. And the fourth step is learn how to generate the test data. Okay. So learn to create the test data automatically. For example, so you need some 20 fake data. Okay. So ask it to generate 20 fake customer records with a name, email, phone number in CSV format. So it will directly give you the data. So copy that data and use however you want. Okay. So this is how you can save a lot of time when you need a uh, sample inputs. Okay. If you are not using the real data. And the fifth step is use AI to test automation code when you are ready. So after you did the manual, next give a try for the automation. So you can ask it to write a Selenium web driver script. Okay. In Java to check if the user can log in successfully. Okay. So that is how you can, uh, you know, ask the prompt or give the prompt to the AI. Also, you can use it for rest assured and you can check the response. Uh, you, you can do whatever you feel like. Okay. First thing is you have to build the confidence with the AI. You need to understand how it works. Then it will be easy for you to uh, further, you know, take an action, right? And do not blindly believe whatever it has responded. It's correct. First you verify whether whatever it has generated is correct or not. And then only you, you can use it. Okay. Certain times it might not provide the answer that we require. Okay. Or sometimes it will be incorrect also. So that is why make sure that just before just uh, copy pasting it, you check it. Okay. So in the number six is try some specialized tools after you are confident and comfortable with the basic prompts. Okay. Now start exploring the tools that is built for 
developers or testers for example windsoft or even cursor ai it works as an ai assistant in your code editor itself so you can highlight the code and uh, say that write a test for this or fix this particular function you can use it for optimization as well you can use it for uh, you know writing the test case or writing the scripts from the scratch you can use it for multiple purposes basically it is not just only to uh, edit or you know provide certain answer in back you can also use it for modification and then creation documentation for multiple steps you can use it on day to day basis so that is how you will start exploring different parts of the ai and then you will get a good hold of the ai tools so first try with the free versions and the step 7 which is very important thing is to learn how to debug okay when there is some error you need to troubleshoot so at that time you just copy whatever the error message it has given and then paste it in the uh, you know paste it as a prompt okay in chat gpt or any other tools and ask it to first tell what the error is about okay and then see what fixes it gives whether it solves your problem or not so this is one major thing and the next thing is keep practicing and improving the prompts okay so first day itself you won't feel comfortable you won't feel better with the prompts okay so day by day once you start doing it you will understand like this is if i give this prompt what it answers and if i just refine it how it answers you will get to know there will be a huge difference day by day right and then document whatever you have learned so that will actually help you uh, in understanding or keeping the track of whatever you have done till then so you will also save time okay along with that you will also learn how generative ai works and this is very much useful for the testers basically if you want to write a code you can do that if you want to uh, you know generate the test case you can do that you if you want to do a uh, documentation yes you can do that so there are multiple things that you can do with the help of ai so this will actually help you to improve your skills also so if you are just a fresher then make sure that at least you know the basic then only you can take the help of it and then you will understand like whatever it is giving is proper or not otherwise you will find it you know you don't you just if you just copy paste you won't get the real knowledge of uh, or you are not taking the advantage properly so that is why you have to learn the generative ai and then practice the prompt engineering okay like giving the proper prompts and then start by generating some of the manual test cases create the test data and finally you will uh, generate some of the automation scripts it can be of ui automation api automation okay and try certain tools like winsor for cursor ai also try to debug and improve your prompts day by day and document everything whatever you have learned so and finally highlight that you have learnt you have ai knowledge or ai skills in your profile so it will help you in lot of ways even in grabbing a new opportunity or learning something new is really required in today's modern world so that is how you have to keep yourself updated also so some of them say that don't learn ai that will not help you in future so you will not have real talent but it is not true because as the world evolves we also have to evolve day by day so you cannot stick on to one thing you have to be a multiverse so that is how you will be able to learn new skill as well and then put it on your profile so hopefully in this video i talked about how what are the ways that you can uh, you know make sure that you ha you are learning generative ai and how you can put it in your day to day regular activities so hope you will also start learning ai tools uh, so let me know in the comment section if you have already started using any of the ai tools and mention which tool it is so uh, in your companies also if you are working so better you start to learn and then upgrade so that is how the cycle works so make sure that you are up to uh, whatever the company standards are and 
obviously in future definitely lot of companies also will start using ai already some of the companies are using ai tools so that is why i'm stressing on it so start using it from today itself so hopefully um, you know now how you can start with the approach of learning the generative ai and till where you can reach so hopefully you have learned about it if you have liked this video please do like it share it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you for watching bye bye